Hello to all the guys in AM Network. I have here with me a new motor. It is called Ascol Ultra C90A. Nah, unbelievable. You fly, you have to hang on. Nah, unbelievable. How much power there is. That is ridiculous. It is a motor for electric bikes, specifically for e-mountain bikes, designed by the Italian company Ascol. They mounted on these bikes here, the Focarini. They sent me to first exclusivity to try it out. The specifications of this motor are very important. This is an engine with 2.9 kilograms of weight. There is a torque of 110 Newton meters. This is one of the most powerful engines available on the market. These powers come in boost mode. You can activate them while you are pedaling and give a 30 second pulse of this maximum. The normal average torque is 90 Newton meters. We are really talking about an electric bike with lots of power. Today I'm going for a ride on the Tedesco trail, which is a really challenging trail. It is true that it has a power rating of 250 watts. This is an own regular motor that meets all the regulations and laws of Europe. We have here with this setup a bike with a battery in it of 630 watts, which is also a discrete battery that is very similar in its shape to other brands. What is very important is that this motor has the Shimano mount. It means that it is also very easy to mount on bikes or frames that are already Shimano. I have also heard already some manufacturers are thinking of making the offer to customers of choosing between Shimano or Ascol. I wanted to talk a little bit specifically about the electronic features. This bike comes mounted with a Sigma Rocks display. It is very readable, very technical. There is also the height, power, everything on the display. Here we have the control, we have Eco 1. Tour 2. Trail 3. And Boost 4. And then when you push really hard, it goes red. This has to become the super boost or the more powerful one. I really want to understand if torque and power is everything or is the full experience more important. Okay, I've had my coffee. I've got the engine ready to run. Let's go up that hill there. Hill. It's downhill. It is interesting to see if I can do that so I'm going to put it on superpower now. Yeah, it's easier. Wow. So I have to go like so. And then I have to go this way. So here it is doable. No, I didn't do it right. So guys, I'm doing the... Then I realized one thing, that the engine and the bike as well must be well matched together. I saw that even with that power, maybe it is too much. If there is no grip. Wow. Okay, this climb here, technical. There is a descent. Technical. Uh, this is a super technical trail, guys. I'm not kidding. Riders, even good ones here. They find it difficult, but wait. Nah, unbelievable. I had never done that. Quiet motor. There is no rebound, there is silence. The bike is agile. That, the first part is very technical. Yes, it is true, so much downhill, but there is the uphill that is difficult. I saw that with this bike. When the engine is running, 
there is the right talk to pass where I didn't pass before. So there is a big piece of rock here uh, where they also hold extreme enduro bike races. So I saw that you have to use an appropriate shortage, otherwise this bike doesn't push. This engine likes a smooth deficiency. Also high enough to give full power. Okay, here's a special piece. Uphill, we tried in 90 Newton meters. Okay guys, this is where, let me see if I can. Nah, unbelievable. I say that I had never done that one, even with a powerful engine. It works. Okay, this is my challenge. And look at these beautiful rocks. Nah, no way. This bike. Flies. <laughs> nah, unbelievable. The torque, it makes a difference on uh, technical pieces like this, I have to ask, to make me do a super boost for me. Another climb, look. Power, full throttle. on the technical. You have to know how to handle it. You have to learn. It's not easy. Guys, it's not easy. You have to have everything under control. It looks like you are a ping pong ball where you bounce between the rocks. You also have to be good in the ascent to understand what's coming towards you. Otherwise, you make mistakes. This power, yes, good, but you always have to find the right balance. Not bad. Guys, look at this place where we have arrived. It's 40 degrees here in the mountains. Wonderful, I wanted to. I take a bath in this tank. Water, perfect. So let's do some uh, conclusions. At this point, as you saw, I rode on different surfaces, the steep ones with grip, those without grip, those of rocks, one track, flat, perfect. In the end, the torque is super powerful. You have to handle it well or else you also go a little bit in crisis because the rocks are coming toward you at a speed just incalculable. If you're not used to it, you have to respond. Otherwise, you become just a ball bouncing between all the different rocks. With power comes responsibility. I have seen that the 90 Newton meters that normal maximum is more than enough in 90% of situations. The average maximum, let's say 90 Newton meters, it's very similar to Polini's. That's why when they say 90, it is 90, that of Bosch, Shimano, etc. Now when they have 85, in my opinion, they are just power spikes. At this point, I would like to conclude and say that this Ascal Ultra C90A, it's a very good motor that it has a lot of power, but you have to learn how to handle it. Super boost, that it has 110 Newton meters. It is not to be used all the time. There are specific times for when you have to use it. Power and torque are important, but the relationship that there is between power and torque is the most important one. Thank you guys for watching our video. Don't forget to follow the channel and see you in the next video. Ciao.